You know what? I'll get a suggestion and then I'll slowly walk down the stairs doing the bit, okay? Nice. Let's make it more hard. <laughs> Give me a suggestion. Suicide. Suicide? No. Next. What? Baseball. Baseball? <laughs> I was raised, I, I don't know anything about sports. I know no thing about sports. I was raised by a single mom. Uh, she was a pediatric nurse. Give it up for pediatric nurses, motherfuckers. Yeah. Ugh. And my mom, uh, I grew up in Jersey too. And uh, are you from Jersey? Yeah, where? What? Edison? Edison? <laughs> You guys don't understand. There are parts of New Jersey that are like unthinkable. There's a couple. There's the oranges. There's Trenton, which has a which has a sign. It's not even a sign. It's a full bridge that as you drive into Trenton, it just says what Trenton makes the world takes. And then human beings live in that city. It's disturbing. And I still don't understand what the fuck it means. Edison is one of them. Also, is Menlo Park in Edison? Who knows? No, I'm thinking of Thomas Edison, which is Menlo Park. But my mom, uh, I was raised by a single mom in Jersey in the 80s. And uh, I, I specifically remember we would get, often we would get uh, fast food. We would get McDonald's or something. Uh, and I would finish my like McDLT, and then we would just be on the highway, and then we would just roll the window down and throw all of it out of the window. <laughs> that was a common occurrence in the 80s in Jersey. Did you guys do that in Texas? I feel like that's a Texas move too. No? Maybe there's nobody. All right, we'll see. Give me another one. Jury duty? Okay, great. I had jury duty in Brooklyn, New York, and I was sitting in the waiting room. You know, you like a general waiting room? And they had a video playing. <laughs> they had a video playing, and it was just the history of law. And then it started. I shit you not. The beginning of the video was, in the beginning, we didn't have law. So we would just throw witches into lakes. And then they just throw a woman into a lake face down. And that's how the video started. In 2002 in Brooklyn, New York. Okay, other suggestion. Fizz Ed. Fizz Ed? Okay. I went to, uh, I went to Catholic, I went to Catholic school for all 12 years. Uh, I went to St. Catharines in Spring Lake, New Jersey. And we had phys ed, and we had a, um, a phys ed teacher who was a woman who now I understand was definitely a, a gay woman uh, who at the time I was just like, she's just like a man, but a woman. I didn't understand it. <laughs> and we had to do the physical fitness test, the uh, president's physical fitness test, which is such fucking bullshit. It's insane. What, what eight-year-old is like, oh, Pull-ups? Yeah, nailing them. <laughs> An eight-year-old doing pull-ups? I'm a 46-year-old. I can't do a fucking pull-up unless I have a giant, uh, like, rubber band pulling my body up. But we had to do, like, a set amount of sit-ups for the fucking presidential fitness fest. Also, no one, we never worked out in phys ed. Other than they were like, oh, there's this test. The president wants you to do it. It's today, and we do it once. And then you fail, and fuck you. <laughs> the presidential fitness test is such a load of shit. Fuck anyone who came up with it. Anyway, so I'm doing sit-ups as like 11-year-old, and no one wanted to hold my feet, because I was a weirdo. <laughs> and so the teacher was holding my feet, and uh, her name was like, I don't know, Mrs. LGBT. And, <laughs> and I was doing my sit-ups and then I farted <laughs> while sitting up. And then I was so embarrassed because I farted directly onto her. 
uh, I closed my eyes and did the rest of the sit-ups closed. And then apparently she did not hear the fart because then she was like saying like, this is how you do sit-ups. Sometimes Kurt, he likes to close his eyes when he does sit-ups. And she thought that was so funny. And I was like, I fucking farted on you. <laughs> Give me another one. Virginity. When I was five years old, <laughs> I had this friend, Eileen Kelly. She was sisters of my, my like very good friend growing up was Francis Kelly. He was two years older than me. So his sister was two years younger than him. And at five, I think I had an early sexual awakening. I don't know. But at five, uh, we had a tea set for some reason, and we went up into my attic. And then, I, this was, I love the 80s, where it was just like, who gives a shit? Two five-year-olds in the attic for four hours by themselves? <laughs> we'll figure it out later. Everybody's just smoking and drinking downstairs. <laughs> and I don't know if anybody remembers this, but it was a wand. It was a wand that had like musical, like numbers on it, but it was like a, do you know what I'm talking about? And you would literally rub your hand on it. It would be like, yes. And it had a speaker on the bottom. So it kind of resembled like an incredibly phallic guitar. But it was just like a bulbous thing here and this. And then we spent, this was amazing. This was like an hour of sexual exploration. I have a five-year-old right now. And to think that they, that they, they They've never done anything like this. To think that I did that as five, I know everybody's getting uncomfortable. Fucking deal with it, all right? My five-year-old ain't doing that because I don't let them go into a fucking attic for four hours by themselves. All right, this was 80s, the Jersey Shore, all right? I'm going into attics with another five-year-old. We're gonna fucking feel each other's genitals, all right? And I would, she would go into the closet and take her pants off and then I would rub the thing and this is, this is why I love sex now, because the thing would make a beautiful noise when it was pressed against something. It would go And then she would come out, and then I had an erector set that had little tires on it, uh, little rubber tires, and then my erect penis, which was this big, she would put tires on my erect penis. And that is sex when you're five years old. Jeremiah, come on out, man. I have never told that story publicly. Perfect, you're keeping going for Kurt Braunohler. <laughs>